Hello everybody and welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber 10 minutes at a time okay people I am so sorry about the game show but uh seems YouTube and Google picked yesterday to do their maintenance and uh, just happened to be the same day we did our game show that was a bummer man we've been trying to load movies since Friday night and uh, I'm gonna try this is Sunday morning and I'm gonna try and load one but I tried Friday night to load a movie tried Saturday morning to load a couple movies and uh, just wouldn't let me do it and we went ahead and made the game show and uh, tried to load it and just wouldn't let me do it and uh, to give everyone the same chance we got to give everyone you know at least a few days warning you know so they can make it you know so I think and next weekend I'm probably going to be in Texas so it'll probably be the weekend when I get back people will redo it and uh, man we was all pumped up I had some good old questions too man and me and Deb still had a blast making the video but uh, that's what happened and uh, I'm going to tell you, you guys on RC Universe are pretty sharp cookies, man. <laughs> I can't slide nothing past you guys. <laughs> yeah, this vertical stab here does not belong on the bomber. And uh, I'm getting that slicked up for Butch. and Because he, he's been so busy and needs to get this done. This is one of them Cessnas, I believe. I don't know and that's in the cell for it and uh, I've had it for a while and I need to get that done for a bunch so that's why I broke it out <laughs> can't slide nothing past you guys thought I'd try and sneak that in here and you guys wouldn't notice <laughs> but but y'all notice so but yeah it's just no big deal while I was saying it all then but it's done so much for me that I don't mind doing that and Friday uh, Camlax got a hold of me and I had to uh, take the F4 out back out of the box and make a bunch of pictures for it so she can send a DHL and uh, you guys don't hold that against Camlax they're going to take care of me she's going to you know that was all shipper that wasn't Jet Legend that wasn't Camlax that is all DHL right there you know, and uh, it's a shame, but she's going to take care of me. I had to take like 50 pictures, you know, and uh, well, I had that out. I got to thinking that, man, it sure would be nice to have another tank because it's got two pretty good sized fuel tanks that go in the fuselage. You know, here they are right here. It's, it's the right. They sit right beside the turbine. But that's the front of the tank, and that's the CG, which means when you fill it up with fuel, uh, I mean, that's like a gallon, pretty close, them two tanks, it's going to be tail heavy. And it don't have no tank up front, so I thought, man, sure it would be nice to have a tank up front. I thought, man, how can I make one quick and easy, quick and easy. So I took me a piece of foam, just that blue foam I got stashed over there in the junk pile and I whittled it to shape bam okay and that sits on top of my ducts between the hatch and the canopy see that's the canopy right there and that's my hatch right there and then was my ducts and uh, I tried to make one kind of that shape there at first and fit it down in there but I just couldn't get it very big it was like half the volume of this and it still didn't want to go down in there right but this set on top of the ducts just fits perfect so I thought man how can I make that quick and easy quick and easy well I took my blue foam remember them uh, sheets of fiberglass I made up when I was uh, working on my ducts for my nacelles I had a sheet left over this is that stuff. I just took that piece of Formica right there and I waxed it up, sprayed some mold release on it. 
Then I primed it and just one layer of 10 ounce cloth and some resin, let it set up, peel up one whole sheet. Well, when I did my ducks, I had this one left over, okay? So I just, uh, I cut it out and I wrapped one around the top with just six minute epoxy, let it set up, trimmed it, did the bottom, let it set up, trimmed it, did the front, did the back, and this only took me like an hour to make this, people. Now, if I would have just tried to uh, glass that, you know, with just resin and cloth, you know, I'd have spent a couple of days. So I did have to do one section, let it set up. Do another section, let it set up. And uh, and I wouldn't, my corners wouldn't have came out so good. I would have had lots of filling and priming and sanding. And uh, this, uh, this, I just glued this on there, trimmed it, sanded the corners. One coat of primer, that dude's ready to mold. You know, quick and easy, quick and easy. And that's like, oh, it's got to be at least a third of a gallon. I took this coffee container here, and that's that's the size I made it round, and it just it, it fits right up in that F4, just right on top of the ducts, just perfect. It's about an extra third of a gallon. So this will offset that fuel. You know what I mean? When I fill up them and fill up this one. It will still be in the same CG range. And I'll have them tanks drain into this one, which these will empty first, and that'll never put me in a tail heavy situation. You know, I don't like that idea much. Let's put a gallon of jet fuel weighs seven pounds. So you're actually dumping dang near seven pounds behind the CG with no front tank. I think guys in RC Universe are taking like them 50 ounce DeBros and stuff and putting them up here. I wanted a good one. So them tanks will drain into this one and uh, and they were being a tail heavy situation. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a coat of primer on that when I get to priming and just to make, I'm not actually going to mold it. I don't want to spend the time and energy it takes to mold it for one fuel tank. So what I'm going to do is just uh, lay it up now. You know, it'll take me a couple days next time I get slinging some resin. And I'll put me a couple layers over the top, put some peel ply on it, and do it like I did the tank in there. Just do it in stages. Once that sets up, pull my peel ply off, trim my edges, do the front, and uh, stagger it so I can get all my lips, uh, you know, over overlapped. And then uh, do that a couple times, and I'll have me. Then I could just cut it, choo -choo, pop it off, and take me some tape, and glue it back together. Once I get it off the mold, I'll have me a nice fuel tank, about a third of a gallon, and I'll be able to get some nice long flights on that F4, and uh, be trucking right along. But today I got my buddy coming over. We're going to go out to breakfast, and I'm going to come home and. Uh, get the priming on this stuff. I only got a couple of little places on this I gotta fill yet. Right there's one. And then on the other side about the same place and that's done. I got to sand on this a little bit, really just this edge here. And uh, just a little bit of filling. Just a little bit, a couple little spots like that. Get that slicked up. That'll be ready to mold. My vertical stab is ready to mold. I had one guy I noticed the fact that these ends here don't line up. See if you stand back. Well they're they're it's a two part rudder top and the bottom. You go over to my plastic model, they're the same way. You see that line there and that line there. That's just how it is. Don't match up. But uh, hopefully it's going to let me load this video this morning and uh, they got their maintenance done and we'll get back to some Bob TV this afternoon. That was a shame about the game show. I'm going to rate that all the way up here at Turbo Suck. <laughs> and uh, we'll give you guys a little bit more time to study up on them videos. Because they ain't all easy questions. And we will see you right back.